It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Washington Commanders and the Carolina Panthers. Coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the Carolinas and Bank of America Stadium here in Uptown Charlotte. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Washington Commanders taking on the Carolina Panthers. Happy to be on hand. I'm Brandon Gaughton with Charles Davis. And before we kick, partner, your keys to the game, please. Well, my keys are on the defensive side of the ball for both teams. And the big one, making sure you avoid giving up the big play. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. Their job, keep the ball in front of them, tackle people, make them run extra plays in order to try and score. tackled just shy of the 25. So here are the commanders making their way out. And they will be led out by their second year quarterback. And he left North Carolina with most of his school's records and at one point was thought to be maybe the number one quarterback in his draft class. He does bring deceptive athleticism and plenty of upside to the table. Add some consistency and maybe he can really unlock what he can be in the NFL. First carry here for Robinson. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Second down and eight. Back to throw. Howell. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. And running with power here. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A first down there on a pickup of 25. And as you're game planning as a staff, you go through all the different ways you can neutralize the other guys' pass rushers. Extra linemen, leave a tight end in, bring the running backs back in to block. Or you can do this, a little simple screen pass, and it works to perfection. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Robinson on a give right side. Von Bell up to make the tackle. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. From the 46, here's second down and eight. They'll go play action. Howell. That's going to be caught by Samuel. Short completion, just four yards. And now it's third and three. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. Hal trying to pick it up on third. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down, and he was able to get it by plenty. A gain of eight on third and three. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping to run uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. Jack Thompson on the tackle that time. 
But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Faking the handoff. Howell. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Shaq Thompson making his presence felt on the sack. All about the offense so far this drive, putting something sustained together. But the defense, they responded on that play. Second and manageable became third and long. The drive marching to the end zone is one play from stalling out. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Under pressure, they got him again. A well-designed corner blitz that gets him for a loss of eight yards. We're scoreless after one. The Washington with the football here to begin quarter number two. As they've got it with a fourth down coming up. Now the former Oklahoma Sooner Tress Way on to punt the football. There, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by the youngster, the rookie, their QB. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. And they'll start on the ground with Hubbard, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected it. It was a power play up the middle coming at him, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Here's a second and eight. From the shotgun, it's Young. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Going with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Off the play fake, Young. He's got a man, complete. Robin Cosman field almost to the 40 before being taken down. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. This offense has been slow to get started, but that play will certainly give them a little bit of life. Maybe the late wake-up call that they've been seeking. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Straight ahead with Hubbard. Cody Barton there to bring him down. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Ball on the 36 now. Here's a second and five. Young will set to throw. And connecting here with DJ Sharp. And they'll end up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of the offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Young now. This throw caught right around the six. And the Panthers are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. Here we go now on first and goal. Now Young. Now he's got a touchdown Panthers. Miles 
Sanders. A five-yard touchdown. And the Panthers post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And he returns this to the 22. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Hal to the air on first and 10. Here's a screen for Robinson. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. When you lose that kind of yardage on a pass play, you often expect it to be a sack, but that wasn't the case there. They completed the pass. Probably would have been better off just dropping the football and making an incompletion as opposed to catching it and losing that kind of yardage. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Robinson up the middle. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? Now the Panthers are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Press way on fourth down is sent out to punt. This is brought in at the 21. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. The Panther offense going to see the ball one more time in this first half. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. Just 25 seconds to go in the half now as they've got it first and 10. Young to throw it. He completes this one to Mingo. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Second down and three. They'll run out of the gun. It's Hubbard. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. First down throw for Young. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. 
No sense risking anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. Final play of the half, Young. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So it's halftime here in Charlotte with the Panthers out on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome, everyone, to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a strong first half out of the Alabama man and former number one selection, Bryce Young. His touchdown pass is the only score of the game thus far as his guys hold a 7-0 lead to this point. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Just the one touchdown in that first half. Seven nothing our score as we get going in quarter number three. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. But the Panthers are gonna take over here to start quarter number three. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and ten. Here is Young. And this one into the hands of D.J. Sharp. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. A give up the middle, Hubbard. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. That one, a first down pickup of eight. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now here's Young. Sharks got it, left side. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 17 yards is the pickup there for number 17. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Up the middle they go with Sanders. Well, he is out of bounds, but not the third. inside the third. 17 more yards. They had 17 on the previous snap as well. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far in this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. And they'll run on first down with Hubbard. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. 
Looking to throw, Young. That one complete, he finds Sharp. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Young on third down. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. A 39-yard attempt. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. Pass is caught for a first, but he's looking for more. The fake field goal catches everyone by surprise. And the Panthers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And Carolina scores to cap it off. Touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. First possession of the second half now for Washington. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, manageable spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. First down, how to throw. Thomas has got it, complete. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Robinson gets the toss on the right side. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run out the bench more plays. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back now in Charlotte. This offense so far on third down, just one for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. Robinson will try to pick it up. And this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. Well, look at the clock. You're down two scores. Have to go for this, don't you? And they thought that as soon as they took over possession. It didn't matter where they were on the field. They were always going to be in four-down territory. Backed up in good situation. It didn't matter. So they've been preparing for that on their play sheet the entire time. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Washington first down. They didn't get a lot, but they do convert on fourth. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. On first down, Hal. Thomas brings it in. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 
23 yards on the play. Nice game there, partner, but you and I both know that won't do anything for the final score. They're not going to win this one. Right now, they're playing for pride and fantasy points. <laughs> and just to erase that goose egg, nobody wants to be shut out. They'll throw on first down. Here's Howell. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle him after the catch. Inbounds. Keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Here's a second and seven. It's Howell with another throw. tight end Bates and they're going to have another first down as the tackles made at the Panthers 17 yard line he's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage and that's what you have to do keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports so it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Now Hal, and this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. From the 17, they work on second and ten. Powell to throw. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. Well, you know they're going to look his way in the two-minute drill, but that time he was blanketed. And they forced the incompletion. May need some teammates to step up in this spot. Well, this crowd is making an impact right now. Third and ten. Here's Howell. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. Uh, that's a big conversion there on third down, and this has been a great opening drive. You know, at this point, they'd hate to settle for three, but they've created a fresh set of downs and a first and goal. Here we go, first and goal. Now looking to throw again. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now, because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed. But if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right. And if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way down field. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah, yeah, yeah you know, it doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. So a seven-point game, they'll need a recovery, the touchdown, and an extra point to tie. And it looks like the Panthers' hands team does its job. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it, but even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. And the Panthers coming out now. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here on the give. This is Hubbard. 
And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Got to figure the rush is going to be fierce again as they come up second and 13. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The commander is going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Young. Oh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. So here we go now with Hal and the Commanders. Down 14 to 7. A little over a minute to go. Needing to go pretty much the length of the football field as they have it first and 10. Samuel. Gosh, given the time in the short game, would he have been better off just dropping that? Yeah, when you look at the clock, you think so, but it's hard to get a receiver to drop a football. They're trained to catch everything. Second and six coming up. Back to throw. Finding Samuel, and this is not going to be what they needed. They get a few here, but now third down as the clock runs. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling has been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. They'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. What a great sequence by this defense so far. They've given him nowhere to go in football. And they just have to make it stand up one more time because it appears that they've got their number can they not have a slip up here and allow the touchdown? Fourth down, Hal, desperation time. Pass complete, Thomas. And they will get the conversion on fourth down to stay alive, but time, not an ally. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner, although on that last play they were so backed up it would have taken a miracle and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone.